divide a polynomial by polynomial of two or more terms. Here example where we are dividing by more than one term binomials here. When you divide by more than one term, you have to set up a long division like this. Write the problem as if dividing whole number. Make sure the both polynomials are written in descending powers of the variables. It's very important that you sort this out. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes you see k to power of 1 here and then you see k to power of 3 here. So make sure you sort them out in, the, in this descending order. Highest exponents comes first all the way to the constant. The next term is to ask yourself what times this first term k give you 2k squared? What times k give me 2k squared? k. So everybody see how I get, why I got this 2k then? So divide the first term of 2k squared by the first term of k plus 6. Write the results above the division line. In other words, you ask yourself, what times k give me k squared, which is k. So k times k give me k squared. And now I need this 2. So if I multiply this through, what do I get? Let's do that. You need to multiply this 2k by both of these. In other words, what you're doing now is you say 2k has to be distributed by k plus 6. And we know how to do that. Now if I multiply this through, what do I get? 2k squared plus 12k. I would record that right here, 2k squared plus 12k. You subtract the bottom row from the top row. I need to subtract. When you subtract in columns, you can change the sign of the second row to its opposite signs and then instead add. So you change the sign in the second row to its opposite sign and you change this to addition. So just simply add the first row to the second row with this new signs that we wrote right in front of it. So just write this in row, make sure we follow this. What we're doing really is we're subtracting, we're going to write it as a row, that's what we're doing. To find the remainder, that's what we are doing. Do we see that? We're subtracting 2k plus 12k, which is right here, from the top row. If I write it in the row, you can clearly see that what we are doing. We are, we are subtracting. So in order to subtract, I have to distribute this negative. That would cause each of these terms turns to its opposite sign, like I did here. See how 2k squared turns to minus 2k squared. And 12k when I distribute the minus, or I could say, all right, I'm going to change the subtraction to addition and change the sign of each term here to its opposite uh, sign. So here I have 2k squared, and here you have 12k. I have to change the sign to its opposite sign. That's what we're doing. This becomes minus, this becomes minus. And now we're adding these two. Now we're adding 2k squared plus 17k plus 30. We're adding it to this. So by doing that, you'll see these two adds up to 0. So what would be the remainder? 12k minus 17k minus 12k. 5 plus 5k, right? plus 5k, and then we have also plus 30. So this would be my remainder. If I understand up to this point, the rest is just keep repeating the same process. So now I have to say, what times k give me 5k? What is it? Somebody says 5. That's correct. Plus 5. So what do I have to do with this 5? I have to multiply that with k plus 6, right, like I did earlier. So what do I get if I do that? I get 5k. What do I get here? 
plus, now what do we have to do? We have to find the remainder. To find the remainder, we need to change the sign to its opposite sign and change subtraction to addition. And it looks like the remainder becomes zero. Now, if the remainder doesn't become zero, then you would say remainder over quotient, that would be your last term. So you multiply and write the result below, 2k times k, k plus 6. You subtract, do this manually by changing the sign of 2k squared plus 2k and adding. Bring down 30 and continue, dividing 5k by k, and you see the result becomes 2k plus 5.